welcome viewers, this is Danny here with another LEGO update. And uh, I haven't done, let's see, too much. Uh, sorry I did not upload a video last weekend. I uploaded my haul, I think on Thursday or Friday. Uh, my Black Friday haul. But uh, I was unable to make a vlog because, well, I, I was able to. I just, there wasn't really anything to show you guys. And I knew this week... Or this weekend, uh, there's going to be some pretty big changes. So first of all, huge change. My shelves are back with Legos on them. Finally. Uh, the construction is uh, about finished, kind of. I guess you could say. And uh, here, I'll put the slider here. Uh, and so we were able to put the shelves back up because they're no more like banging on the walls and stuff. So I got all my sets back up here up here you can see all the ships and stuff and then where the malevolence is is where the holiday sets go but uh, those are going to be used for my brick film and then the other thing you guys probably noticed is why is there this huge gap in the middle of my room and why is this table not in the middle and that's not over here and all that stuff huge movements uh, so there's nothing in the middle currently, and uh, I don't really plan on, let's see, I might, I we, we have like a smaller table, so I might put that there, just to work on some stuff, I'm not really sure about that yet, uh, probably won't, but uh, I might, but anyway, I moved this table here, so I can set up, this is going to be my brick filming table, for the upcoming brick film, I was working a little bit, uh, I think I made like a two second video uh, with this as the background and it was like that and they're just making some toys so I've I think I'm basically done with the mock uh, I'm not I'm not gonna make a mock like showcase or whatever you want to call that a video just for the mock because it's not really that detailed uh, you can probably tell or tell sorry uh, by looking at it I do have the train tracks, these tracks that go across. I just took them off to do some brick filming. But, uh, yeah, so I, it's not really for the looks, it's really for the brick film. So I'm not going to really showcase it because there's really not that much to it. It's pretty basic. I haven't even done anything on the top yet. I don't think that piece is going to go there. But it's really just for show for the brick film. So that table... Uh, the big table, I'm going to work, I'm asking for another table for Christmas, by the way. Uh, so hopefully I can get two of these. And, but anyway, the brick film, this is going to be brick film, the brick film table. So I'm going to put up white poster board on the back. And then a foam, like a thick foam, like this thick probably, on the table top. Uh, because it's a Christmas, uh, yeah, Christmas brick film. And, obviously, it means snow uh, with Santa's workshop and all of that stuff. And then, of course, I'll be using the holiday Christmas sets. Uh, so, I'll, I'll have, I think, three sets set up. So, I'll have that probably like right here. Then, I'll have the little winter village. And then, if there's any space left, uh, the modular buildings. Otherwise, I'll have to put those probably over here. Actually, yeah, I, th I think those are going to go on this table. Uh, they they will be used in the brick film. That's why I do need them. And but it is a Star Wars Christmas special. In case you guys uh, have not watched my previous vlogs, it's gonna be super awesome. Uh, the main st I'm still working on the storyline just a little bit. Uh, I I haven't actually written anything down, and I don't think I will. Cause I, I work better more just off the fly, kind of. But I got the basic idea down. Kind of like Obi Wan's going to visit Santa. They're good old time friends. And then Santa's sleigh doesn't work. And then they need the public's help, all that stuff. And, yeah, that, that basically kind of sums up the idea. But I'm just happy to get these shelves back up and move the table. So now I have this big space so I can figure out uh, if I want to do anything. I put the sorting trays under the shelves. Uh, I have to do something with all my minifigures. They're in bags right now. I actually just sold three Yodas because uh, if you notice in my uh, Black Friday haul, 
I got another ATRT. I uh, can't really see. It's really dark, but there are three ATRTs. Or sorry, four ATRTs. And I don't need four Yodas. So I sold three of them for about ten dollars each with free shipping on eBay, which is a total deal for me. Uh, that's worth way more than they should be. Anyway. Uh, so I got, I think I got like $20, I want to say, because after eBay takes off fees, pay for shipping, all that stuff. About $20, which I'm going to use towards new sets. Uh, that gift card expires December 31st, which kind of stinks that that didn't expire. I got the, the Black Friday haul. So I'm going to go buy uh, two more of these green base plates for the brick film so I can, like, use them as... And a lot of people, like, as a background, they use, like, blue ones. And they have the studs facing, but I kind of like it like that. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I'll kind of experiment some more, see what I've been doing. But yeah, I've been practicing, uh, I think, like, my f second or third vlog, I want to say, or fourth. Uh, one of the earlier vlogs, I actually made brick film with the modular buildings, and it was horrible. But... I've watched tons of videos, practiced a bunch, and I think I got a good technique down on making some good brick films. I have not built the town hall yet. I will probably be saving that for Christmas break. Uh, it's just because there's still going to be a little more dust. I don't want to get that too dusty right away. And But I will probably build that creator set this weekend. So for a review on that. I will also make a little space so I can review sets uh, on Christmas break. I'm going to be re reviewing a ton of ton a ton a ton of sets because I'll have a bunch of time and then my clone army will be completed uh, if you notice uh, with the battle packs next year actually so I'm gonna buy five Kashyyyk battle packs it's 20 Kashyyyk clones boom these two rows filled I just have these uh, 501st clones to like kind of show where the other clones are gonna go and then the uh, two, t not 212, I'm not sure, Commander Cody's uh, Legion, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that battle pack, the Utapau, I think it is battle pack. Five of those. Boom, that's probably going to be between 100 and $150 before tax. So that's going to be pretty expensive. I'm not going to get them all right away, obviously. That's just not going to happen. But hopefully I will have this up before... February. Uh, it just depends on how fast I can get the money. But I've been saving up a little bit. I think I have like $40, $50 plus whatever I get for Christmas. I need money. So that'll help. And then two more of the Phase 1 clones uh, right here. And then that will I'll finish that row. And so I actually just decided right now actually that I am going to put another table right there so I can move a bunch of this stuff onto that table as kind of like a storage table if you call it that I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, nothing else really again sorry I didn't make a video last weekend last weekend but uh, I have, I do have the city advent calendar uh, been opening those and if you have any ideas for videos, suggestions, or any questions put in the comments and I'll be happy to answer it Thanks for watching.